What's up traders? Going to take a quick look at FRGT Freight Technologies. This is the first time I'm looking at the ticker. We've got no markups. I would quickly note on the daily time frame chart, we're aggressively moving in the downward direction. You can clearly see that on the hourly as well. And the five minute intraday from today, as well as Wednesday, is primarily sideways here. The most interesting thing about this chart, of course, is the big volume spike and sudden interest in the stock, uh, seemingly out of nowhere here towards the lows. So let's zoom in slightly on the daily time frame chart and map out critical support supports and resistances. I would say, oops, we've got the wrong tool loaded up. Let's try that one more time with the proper tool. There we are. 38 cents does strike me as the quote unquote floor that you don't want to see price underneath. If we do break it down, you're just looking for trend continuation in the downward direction. Now on today's session, we did print an inside bar, which is completely contained within the range of Wednesday's nasty inverted hammer. So we did run. There was an impressive run early in the day, but notice that most of those gains were given back, giving us this upper wick here on the daily time frame chart. Not a pretty set up. But nonetheless, with an inside bar, it basically means that we have a patience play here. We've got a long over the top to target the high there or a short under the bottom to target the low in here. And given the fact that freight probably isn't shortable, yeah, there's none to borrow on thinkorswim, obviously no options chain here either. We're not looking for the short, right? It's as simple as that. I also wouldn't really recommend shorting penny stocks anyways. It's just usually not a wise strategy. Regardless, freight inside bar. So that leaves us with one possible situation to long this over the top. Does that make sense on the hourly perspective? Let's zoom in here a little bit and see what we've got. So currently you could make the argument that we've got range compression, right? So range compression, if you break out of a trend line, that's where you're looking for your move higher. So in freight, instead of just watching for the break of high of day, today's high of day, you might just watch your trend line, right? And that could be coming in sooner rather than later, right? We've got this sideways activity during today's session, that's the digestion inside bar. If we rally and take that out, it could be around 70 cents, could be slightly higher around 72 cents. If we take that out, you're looking for the rotation here, right? It's called filling up the triangle to this most recent top. And it also makes sense because we've got a almost triple top rejection off of that area close to 85 cents. So on an upswing, you know, it would be reasonable that sellers would step in there again at that level. Again, 85 cents on the up move. So overall from set, let's just say the breakout 70 cents even right? We've got about a 15 cent move to the upside on something trading at 70 cents. That's pretty lucrative from a percentage standpoint. Now, the critical takeaway here, as with any penny stock that's running on momentum, is that momentum needs to continue to be there in the stock. If there's no momentum, then it's not worth trading. So let me maximize the hourly time frame chart, and I'll show you what I mean by this. You can clearly see that volume is virtually non-existent in the past, and it's very quickly drying up. It's still elevated, don't get me wrong, but it's very quickly drying up. If we start to see, like on tomorrow's session, volume that's even lower than what we have here, what is this, a million shares? Yeah, a million shares on something that's trading around, you know, let's just call it 65 cents on the day's session, not very impressive, right? That's only $650,000 that have moved through this that, you know, a retail trader could move that much money, right? So it's really not that impressive, the amount of volume that's here so far, but it, you know, there is some momentum going on. So if a big set of buyers come through, if this suddenly hits a bunch of people's radar, if it starts moving, then yeah, if, if volume's back on par with like 3 million shares per, you know, uh, hourly bar here, then fine. Right. That, that's that's plenty enough to keep momentum moving to the upside. But what I'm getting at is if we've got less than a million shares going through per hourly bar, then retail's not interested. No one in bigger positions is interested. And this will probably just dribble back down to that floor we just discussed from the daily time frame chart. So as with any momentum based penny stock runner, make sure you keep an eye on volume. If you notice that volume is absolutely collapsing here, you're not interested. Right. You're not interested. And in these types of stocks, you need to be buying breakouts, not pullbacks. Right. And I know that sets up a riskier trade because now your cost basis is slightly higher. But as long as you can respect the stop underneath the candle that breaks out over the trend line, now you've got decent risk reward. So, again, let's say that the candle looks like this to break the trend line. You took the breakout. Your stop goes underneath the low. And now you're targeting up here. Yeah, that checks out as a rough like two and a half, three to one risk reward ratio. So that's what I would watch out for in something like freight technologies. It's not the most attractive setup to be completely transparent with you. I don't trade penny stocks. I just like to keep tabs on the underbelly of the market, so to speak, and uh, check in on these small caps, keep t uh, tabs on what's going on with the uh, popular quote unquote momentum runners these days. It's fun to do. Uh, I like revitalizing my chart skills and looking at more charts. 
uh, on a daily basis. So we'll essentially leave it off at that. I think we've hit all the talking points we wanted to on freight. If you enjoyed the video or learned anything new, let me know in the comment section or by dropping a thumbs up. Don't forget that the main channel has all of the bulk analysis that we do, all the main talking points, all the trades that I usually take on a daily basis. Those all go down on the main channel. So check that out down below in the description. And with that being said, I wish you a green trading week.